all vehicle fires emit hazardous gases. One component that is often mentioned in electric cars is hydrofluorides which occur in higher concentrations with these vehicles, compared to fossil fueled cars, if the battery is on fire. Hydrofluorides binds easily to water. This means that drencher or any other source of water such as fire hose or boundary cooling devices washes out large part of HF gases. One important character of a lithium-ion battery for is risk of jet flames. This risk must be considered at any time if an electric car is on full fire. Jet flames can occur without warning. Due to most common location of batteries they will occur at floor level and be mainly horizontal. They can reach in worst case few meters but are most often short-lived, only some seconds. In some cases thermal runaway gases remains initially unignited. In such case, start ventilation instantly and keep safe distance. In extreme cases when space and airflow is restricted, gases may accumulate to create a potential explosive atmosphere. Should this be suspected, the area should be evacuated instantly and drencher and ventilation started. If an EN 469-2020X2Y2Z2 fire suit should be worn in accordance with the instructions, it will protect well from all vehicle fire gases including those of lithium-ion batteries, such as hydrofluoride. When possible, dress with an assistant. Having the trousers rolled down over boots makes it quick and easy to put both on. Make sure that the hood is smoothed down over your shoulders and chest. Both the coat zip and the hook and loop fastening should be secured all the way up to the throat and the collar strap fastened. The assistant should take the weight of the breathing set, whilst you put your arms through the straps. The air cylinder valve should be open, but you should breathe outside air and not from the cylinder. When fastening the face mask straps, begin with the two near your chin. Pull them at the same time to avoid the mask twisting on your face. Tighten the remaining straps in a similar manner. Take two or three breaths from the cylinder to check airflow is ok, and that the mask is well sealed. Leave the cylinder valve open but return to breathing outside air until all team members are properly dressed and you are all ready to begin firefighting operations. Only then begin to breathe from the cylinder. Lastly put on your helmet and gloves. Final check by assistant or teammates that no bare skin is left exposed, face, neck, throat and wrists. The mask neck strap must go directly against the skin of your neck. Not over the hood or coat collar. After bringing your hood up over your head, the assistant must make sure that all the face mask straps are tucked away inside the hood. Tactical ventilation may be used to help to improve air quality. Cargo space fans may be run in a way that evacuates toxic gases and locally creates a cleaner air for the crew to act in. Maximum total exposure time in a full developed toxic smoke environment is 40 minutes. After completed mission, it is important to get fresh air and drink water. Also it is important to undress in good way, more about this in post-mission instruction movie.